back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in once again. If it's your first time tuning in, I drop new videos every week. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss this heat because I got plenty more heat coming. And also, leave a comment down below what you think about today's video. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you're thinking about purchasing any holsters or flashlights, like this one I got on my keychain right here, or any other types of flashlights, I got my affiliate links in the comment section. It'll be pinned in the comments. Use my link. I got a promo code that can help you. And if you use my link, it will definitely help the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And also, if you're really rocking with the channel, another great way to show your support is don't skip the ads, baby. <laughs> but hey, now that we done got that out the way, you've seen the title and the thumbnail, so you know we're talking about the new DV-15 AR pistol. I'm finally bringing an update on it. It's not 100% done, but... It's about 90% done. I probably have maybe two more things I want to do to it and possibly three, but probably going to just be two more things. So, but yeah, without further ado, let's get straight to it. This is my beautiful baby. So far, I think I did a pretty good job on it. Okay, before we go any further, let me show you that the firearm is clear. Nothing in there. Let's get to it. I went ahead and went with the SB3 tactical arm brace. It's a nice brace, you know. I feel like it's worth the money. It has the little opening where you can slide your arm in there. I'll show you. Just slide your arm in and hold it like that. But nobody does that. It's not even comfortable. It scratches up your arm and you can't even line the sights up like that. So nobody do that. I'd rather just shoot it normal and just put it on my cheek with a it's a nice option to have if anybody ever wants to do that. It's a nice brace though. Has nice little edge for your cheek to sit on. So it looks a lot better than the stock that came with the gun. Oh, not stock, arm brace. <laughs> yeah, I like it. And I also have the Magpul MS1 sling mounted with the Magpul QD attachments. Two point sling that is. So far, I haven't had it on there that long, but feels good, it works great. So I think I got it for like 50 bucks maybe, something like that. It's a nice little sling. And of course, I had to go with the folding stock adapter. You gotta have that, man. And of course I wanted to go with the Law Tactical, but you can't really find those right now. And the only one I found was on Amazon and the guy is price gouging. He wants like 400 bucks for it. And that's a little bit too rich for my blood right now. So I went ahead and got the Law Tactical and it was only 170. I like it though. I like it a lot better than I thought I would. It's not as bulky as it looks on the videos. It's not as bulky in person. Like it looks good. Originally, I didn't like how that gap, I like it to be flush on the back plate like the Law Tactical is, but it still looks good. It functions properly. It does what it's supposed to do. A lot easier to store whenever it folds like that. Yeah, I like it. It really minimizes the footprint of the gun. So, you know I had to get the folding stock adapter, man. Damn it. And also, I went ahead and upgraded the charging handle too. Of course, I went with the Radiant Raptor. It's ambidextrous, it sticks out a little bit further than the stock one too, so a lot easier to grab. I like that upgrade. Hell yeah. <laughs> Up top, I got the Wilson Combat front and rear flip up sights. The gun originally came with the Magpul Embus polymer sights, but for this gun, I kind of wanted some sights that are more minimal and slimline. Those Embus sights were kind of bulky. The screws on the side kind of stuck out a little bit further than I liked, so. These worked out better. They're a little slimmer. I like these better. That's just backup sights, you know, because we go with red dots these days, baby. I went ahead and got a budget red dot. Probably the most popular budget red dot out right now. And I see why. This thing is impressive. That red dot is nice and crisp and bright. Different settings you can adjust with. I recently took it to the range a couple days ago. I got it all zeroed in. 
everything. It looks good. That's a nice red dot, man. I ain't gonna lie. I definitely would buy this again. I see why they're so popular. Moving ahead, I went ahead and went with the Streamlight ProTac Rail Mount 2. And I also have it mounted on the Arasaka Defense Offset Mount because I wanted it to kind of hug into the rail a little bit. I didn't want it to be sticking out, taking up too much space, you know. I just wanted to keep everything slim lined as I possibly could. So I felt like this light with this mount would be a good fit. And of course I had to get the pressure patch. That way whenever I'm holding my gun, I have it right here, easily accessible. I've seen some other people whenever they put their rear mount two pressure patch on, they had problems with getting it secure on the Picatinny. Man, it was a little tough to get on, but I got it on and it's really on there. It's on there good, like it ain't going nowhere. I've seen some people that went like this and it came right off. They must have didn't have it on right because this thing is on there good. I shot 200 rounds through this thing a couple days ago and it didn't budge. If you get one of these and you have problems getting it on, trust me, it's possible. <laughs> you just gotta get it on right and it's gonna stay on. It's on there good, I promise you. This doesn't wiggle at all, no play. It's in there tight. I just took the wires and hit them inside of the Romeo and I just zip tied it together just to keep them from being in the way, you know. So far, it's a nice setup. It's working out really good. And another mod that I did, which is the most obvious, that Strike Industries angled hand grip. I got it in the red because I felt like a nice pop of color would be good for the gun, you know. So, and I was right. I really like it. It looks good. And um, so far, whenever I was shooting it, it feels good in my hand. You can hold it like this, like this, or like this, or like this. You know, there's all kind of different ways you can hold it, but yeah, I like it so far. It's working out good. Everything on here is pretty new. I'm going to do another video later on as I use them, just to let y'all know how it goes. If I have any problems with any of them, stuff like that, you know. The only thing I did notice that whenever I was shooting, after about 200 rounds, this rear sight came loose a little bit. So I'm definitely going to have to Loctite that. And this too, I'm going to have to Loctite this as well. So but everything else, no, nothing else budged. And I'm also gonna lock tight this too. Even though it didn't budge, but you might as well, you know, just in case, you never know. That's everything I have done to it so far. I've only got maybe two more things I wanna do to it. And one of them is, I think I'm gonna swap out the BCG and I would like to put a suppressor on it as well. And I'm on the fence about a trigger. I probably will, but I probably won't, so. We'll see. But if you got any trigger suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. I'm thinking about maybe swapping out the trigger, but I'll definitely swap out the BCG and I'll definitely put a suppressor on it. Hopefully it doesn't take too long because I heard it's a long process. So we'll see how that go. This is definitely my new favorite gun. But yeah, we're going to jump on the table right quick and let y'all get a close up look of everything on the gun. Let's get to it. <laughs> Sorry, me and my baby was just having a moment. Um, <clears throat> please forgive me. <laughs> Let's clear her. She's clear, baby. Not 100% done just yet, but she's coming along just fine. Comment down below what you think about her. If you would have done anything different or if you agree with some of the things I did, Okay, before I end the video off, I just want to say something right quick. I know everybody is entitled to their own opinion, but also everybody is entitled to do with their money whatever the hell they please. So when somebody buys 
a seven inch AR pistol chambered in 5.56. Me personally, I've already looked at all the research. I know that it's not as effective as 300 blackout as far as velocity at long distances, but I don't give a damn about that. I'm never gonna shoot anything 400, 500 yards away. And 223, 5.56 is a lot easier to get in my area. I don't even think I've ever seen 300 blackout rounds in my area. So the gun that I went with is a good choice for me. The fact that it might not be as effective as 300 blackout rounds at three, 500 yards away, I don't give a damn. All I care about is that it's gonna bust your ass if you come try to harm me or mine. It's gonna be a lot closer range than three, four, 500 yards away. I don't care about that. Whether you would have bought it or not, it don't matter. It's mine, I pay for it with my money. Nothing wrong with stating your opinion, but hey, just know that I've already done all that research already. I know what I'm doing. And shooting that far away anyway, if I'm shooting somebody that far away, that's murder. You know, that's not self-defense. So whether it's three, four, 500 yards away, I'm not gonna be shooting nothing that far away anyway. So anything that I'm gonna shoot at is gonna be within 100 yards, I promise you that. But hey, Thank you for your feedback. I greatly appreciate it. But hey, that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed this update on my AR pistol. If you haven't done so already, I drop new videos every week. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss this heat because I got plenty more heat coming. And also, leave a comment down below what you think about today's video. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you liked anything about this video, smash that like button for me. Helps the channel grow. Video reaches more people. Show your support. I would greatly appreciate that as well. And once again, if you're thinking about purchasing any better holsters or flashlights, like this one I have on my keychain, or any other type of flashlights, my affiliate links will be down in the comment section below. I'll have them pinned. I have a promo code also for the Olight store. Use my promo code, it'll help you. Use my link, it'll help me. I would greatly appreciate the support. But hey, thanks for tuning in. Me and my baby, we're going to go get a little bit more acquainted. <laughs> Until next time, Heat Nation, we're going to holler.